Hi there. Now I'm going to share with you how to do pivot table in Excel. Pivot table is one of Excel's amazing features. It allows us to extract data from large database table to obtain to your desired report. End of this tutorial. Sure you will find this video well much helpful to simplify your daily work. Let get start. Open your workbook which contain the data which you wish to create pivot table. Click on the insert tab and you will see the pivot table dialog box display. There are two selection for pivot tables, which the first selection to create own desire report. The second option is suggested pivot tables by Excel. You may click on this option and have a look on the suggested tables. Now I'm going to show how to create pivot table as per your desire report. Click on the pivot table option. Make sure it's selected a table or range. Click on the OK button to create your pivot table. Your screen will now look like this. You will see a pivot table field list on the right of your screen, which helps you perform common tasks. Drag the products item into the part of pivot table labeled row labels. Now you can see the item shows in row A. Then, drag the dollar item into the part of pivot table labeled values. Now you able to see the sales by products. Create the table as per your desire. Adjust the table as per your preference. That's it for creating pivot table. Now, let modify the data and refresh the data. As you can see, it is a very powerful way of extracting and summarizing data. If you notice that the pivot table was created on new worksheet, sheet 2, within your Excel worksheet. Click on the pivot table data worksheet tab, sheet 1 data. Let we do some changes on the database sheet. Change the product name orange to mango in one of the cell in column C. And, also we change it one more cell the same column. Now, click on the worksheet tab sheet 2 which containing the pivot table. And you can notice that the pivot table has not been updated to the latest data, which we changed to mango just now. In order to update the latest data from database sheet, we need to click on refresh icon under data on the pivot table. In the ribbon tab, click on the data group, select on the refresh icon and then the table will update to take the current data. Now, the data is updated. As you can see the mango also in the table. Now I'm going to show how to add slicer in pivot table. Slicer make easier to filter data in pivot table. Select any cell in the pivot table. Click on the analyze in the ribbon tab and select the insert slicer command. One dialog box will appear. In this box you can select the field as per your wish. Let we select the product option in the box and click OK. The slicer will appear next to the pivot table. Each selected items will highlight it in blue. This slicer shows all the product's name. The selected items only will highlight it in blue. Now we filter by product apple. As we can see the slicer helped to filter the pivot table only product apple. This is how the slicer assists to filter the pivot table. You also can click the filter icon in the top right corner of the slicer to select all items back. Now, let we see how to create pivot chart. Select any cell in your pivot chart. Click Insert tab, then select the Pivot Chart command.
the insert chart dialog box will appear. Select the desired chart type and layout, then click OK. That's it, for today's tutorial. Hope this video finds you well. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more. Thanks for watching.